remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After rapper Juice World died from an overdose, a number of his peers in the music industry are now saying they are no longer going to do drugs. They are disassociating themselves with the culture. Now, Juicy J is issuing an apology for any role that he may have played in influencing the culture. He went on Twitter and said, if I inspired anybody to do drugs, I apologize. If you can recall, Juicy J had the hit song Sipping on Some Sister. Now, off rip, Juicy J, that's commendable. I salute you, bro. Uh, you know, the old saying, when you know better, you do better. Can't be looking back at the past or what he did in the past and all that stuff. You know, the man is saying, look here, you know, I, I thought I was having some fun. I thought it was just all fun and games until somebody got killed, until people started dying. And one could argue that people were already dying. I know we had lost Big Mo, we had lost Pimp C, uh, we lost a number of artists. We lost, uh, we lost uh, DJ Screw, and these are just the famous people. You know, what about all of the unknown people who followed the culture, who heard their favorite rapper saying, sip on some sister, you know? So I commend uh, Juicy J for stepping up to the plate and saying, you know what, man, I had it wrong. I remember I did my podcast once and Lil Troy came on the show and Lil Troy apologized for selling drugs to the community. He said he didn't know that drugs would have the effect that it had. He didn't know that it would like destroy the communities like it did, like it has a trickle down effect. Like he thought he was just, you know, serving to the fiends or whatever. It was just, you know, he didn't know that it was these fiends. He didn't, he didn't really think hard enough that these fiends have families and fiends get horny too. And they produce children. And when those children are in need of shelter, food, clothing, direction, teaching, counseling, what does the fiend have to give? Nothing. So a lot of kids grew up being left to their own devices. Hence, you got a whole bunch of kids out here with a whole that, that are unlearned. And out here doing all kind of crazy things because they didn't get the information. End up repeating the cycle on drugs or in jail or dead. So Troy was like, hey man, I apologize. Now it's an old saying, sorry don't help the pain. But it's a start. At least they're acknowledging that they made a mistake. Some people still don't see it. Some people still think when they make mistakes that they're too big to apologize. And some don't even see the mistakes that they made. Some will never admit when they're wrong. Some people will never admit when they're wrong. So to me, I think it takes a bigger man, a bigger person to admit that they're wrong than someone who knows that they were wrong and won't acknowledge it, refuse to acknowledge it. So. I give him his props for that. I think that it could go a lot further if we can get more of the younger artists to denounce the drug culture. We can get those young cats out there that the youngsters are listening to the most, those, those 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, get those get them more involved and they they start saying look here man that's whack popping pills is a sucker move you know crack is whack um you know 
even even with the pulling out the guns and flashing guns and all that stupid stuff, that's whack. If they start doing stuff like that, like get out of man, get out of these videos, flashing them guns and stuff, and taking all these pictures with all these guns and posting it on social media, because the moment somebody accuses you of anything, the feds, the the the, the prosecutors, they gonna have all the information they need to lock you up. They gonna take that picture and. It ain't gonna be the little picture that you see on on, on Instagram or Facebook or, or whatever. It's they gonna blow the picture up to a life size portrait of you, and they are gonna put it right there before the jury and say, "Look at him, look at him," and they gonna stop. That jury ain't gonna see nothing but somebody pointing a gun at them, a menacing black face pointing a gun at them, and guess what's gonna happen to you? So think ahead, think worst case scenario. Man, I am exhausted trying to come up with solutions or even talking about this stuff. Man, what we gonna do family? Boy, we got our work cut out for us. Again, salute to Juicy J. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?